So let's face it, this week is basically Yeezy week, but don't sleep on what Jordan Brand, Nike Sportswear, and Under Armour have dropping this week because you're in Hype Beast Overdrive. I am Jacques Slade, and this is the Heat Check. This week kicks off with literally one of the hottest shoes we have seen this year, the Adidas Crazy Light Boost Low 2016 in the Ghost Pepper colorway. A product of the school of James Harden, the Crazy Light Boost is one of the better shoes to play in from the Adidas brand, and you can grab those for $130 over at Finish Line. Also dropping today is the Adidas Gazelle Sports. For Gazelle fans, this look offers a slightly modified version of the Gazelle in the Collegiate Royal colorway. Those will cost you $80 today as well. Coming from Nike Sportswear, the brand has a couple of sock darts that dropped today. These were getting a ton of love earlier in the year and you can now grab them in black or midnight navy. I personally like the midnight navy colorway and you can grab those for $130. Jordan brand may not be your first thought when it comes to boots, but that may change if they have anything to do with it. Launching today, Jordan Brand drops the Jordan Future Boot in khaki. Built for the colder months of the year, the model is made to maintain in the harder months and it's called highly durable and waterproof, which I imagine is the big deal for those that need this sort of footwear. Pricing for those is $275. On the collaboration side, Nike Sportswear linked with Dave White for two Air Max 95s. They use pieces of his artwork, one rabbit inspired and another fox inspired, and both look pretty dope and will cost you $200 a piece on Friday. Switching to Saturday, Nike Basketball drops the fundamental colorway of the Kobe 11. This is the engineered mesh version of the Kobe 11, and that simple white and black colorway looks pretty sleek on the shoe. They also added a translucent outsole, which looks nice as well. Those will cost you $160. As for the rest of Saturday drops, Under Armour actually has two pairs of the Curry 2.5 hitting store shelves. One pair takes inspiration from the colors of Miami and the other pair rocks with the biggest state in the union with a mix of red, white, and blue like the Texas flag. Both pairs will cost you $135. Nike Basketball also has some love coming from the Kyrie 2 Wolfpack color white. The mostly black upper rocks with a silver swoosh at the heel and a ton of bright crimson speckles throughout. Those will cost you $120 for that look. On the Jordan side, the Air Jordan 5 Retro Bronze is dropping this weekend as well. I really like that leather navy upper on these and how it works with the bronze finish on the tongue. The black pieces play into it as well and against that upper, it looks really nice. Those will cost you $200. On the Adidas side, of course, we have the Yeezy 350 Boost V2 Beluga. I guess this marks the second wave of the Yeezy season and like the last model, will be quite difficult to pick up. Finish Line will actually have pairs of these as well, but they will only be offered in store. I'll add a link down below for the details as I'm already Pretty sure you know these will cost you $220. Jordan with the 5, Adidas with the V2s, Under Armour with the 2.5. There's a lot to choose from this week. Be sure to check below for a link to all the shoes that I talked about in the video today and be sure to hit that like button and share the news. I am your host Jacques Slade. This is the Heat Check presented by Finish Line and as always I appreciate you. All right guys I'll see you soon. Peace. When you have someone like Jordan at the top of your brand, it's easy to rely on the past. But is the Jordan 31 a play for the future? Let's start with the obvious, the Nike swoosh. The last of this shoe, which is the KD9. Yes, you guys have seen it before, but this time you get the perspective of the designer of the shoe, which take things up 